come out on a Wednesday night. It's a lot of fun here at the Underground Music Cafe. So, so first of all, even though we're uh, in outside of that little cities right now, even though Ramsey itself is part of the metro area, a lot of people don't know where Ramsey is. So I tell them, if you go northwest from Minneapolis, you get to Anoka, which is the Halloween capital of all the world, which is a shitty nickname for a town, by the way. And you guys know how they got that nickname? It's because they had the first official town-sponsored parade, and that's not how fucking titles work. You guys get what I'm saying? And then you go a little bit right past Anoka, right before Who Gives a Shit, and there's Ramsey right there. And people would ask me before, well, what is Who Gives a Shit? What is that town? And that's Elk River, Minnesota. If you guys want to know how shitty a town that is, just imagine a place, if you will, that had a target and then lost a target because a Walmart moved in. You guys understand the little shit we're dealing with there? And then Target did what they thought was the most passive-aggressive Minnesota thing they could do, which is close the store and then move across the river to Otsego, where everybody going to the city still have to drive by. It's like if your parents got divorced and your dad got a house at the end of the block, every time your mom and you just drove by, he's out in the yard watering, just waving like, hey kids, I love you, please come fucking visit. Like, that's how weird it was between the Target, Hot Sea, going out river. Okay, I'm the only one. Okay, fair enough. It's too far out for everybody here? I get it, I get it. But a, lo a little bit more about myself with that town of Ramsey too. Uh, I had a lot of friends who would always make fun of me, right? Like, I'm a redhead, if you guys can't see it, I would take my hat off, but I haven't done my hair today, so it's better for all of you. And I've heard all the stuff you can say. Yeah, he couldn't count good either. Can you grab the money in your hand, looked at it, put it in my hand, pushed me out the door, closed behind me. They gave me $43. And those of you who are bad at math, it's an $11 tip. That's hell of a good tip, right? But also, too, I should tell you that I went to a Christian college, and the only thing I learned there was how to judge people and judge them fucking accordingly, right? They're terrible people, and fuck out whoever. You guys are ready for the next band? Oh, come on, guys. It's the last band of the night. You guys ready for this? All right, everybody, give it up for Canada Goose! Sticks! Sticks! Fuck out of here! <laughs> It's kind of quiet when you're not behind the bar making drinks. <laughs> Feel free to yell your drink orders at me. I'll relay them.
Canada Goose. Because with all of the bad 
Stay hydrated out there, folks.
this is our first fucking show with electric guitars, so I'm so glad it's finally here. We've been a band for almost two damn years. Jeez Louise, man. I wouldn't recommend starting a band in late 2019.
The ship turned to mutiny The captain's in the brig having his last string They gave him a gun and left him in peace With waves crashing a mile high The engine chokes on a final sigh Thank you so much to Handsome Midnight for opening things that nobody needs. I'm gonna shut up and play music now. You're gonna go for a ride on the hair wagon. That's fine. It's all right. All baby. This is one of the oldest songs. Uh, I wrote this like 10 years ago, uh, and these guys wanted to play it because I asked them if they wanted to, and they said yes. Merry-go-round Some 
every song like that that's like how you do it it's so fun I think we're almost staying in tune now let's get that humidity even higher fuck it ruin these strings oh baby this song Rob affectionately calls shit in my garage that's what it's about. Hi, this one shit in my garage is.
I see you guys probably relate because I bet you have some shit in your garage. Or June bugs. Or June bugs. Tennis rackets, by the way. If you didn't know, now you know. Not to promote violence, but they started it. Come on, baby. Sometimes the guitars get mad at you if you don't play them for a while. That's an older one, too. It's kind of weird when a band plays another band's songs, but these guys are pretty cool about it. We're an oldies band. <laughs> I wasn't privy to that information. <laughs> I probably told you, you just don't remember. Hey, everybody give it up for Rob for being like, what, like six, eight months sober now? <laughs> Fucking killing it, but A year? I don't know. Thanks for outing me. It's been a, I, dude, I don't care. I'm proud of you, you hey. asshole. He was really good at drinking.
having to play all these songs acoustically for like a year and it's cool but it it sucks I'm being the worst about this I wrote this set list and I can't even oh nice they're all my
Oh man, this is so fucking fun. I feel better. I feel, I feel better. Yeah, anybody else who's been tired lately? There's like smoke in the sky. There's impending doom. I mean, not that there always wasn't, but now it's very impending. Here, you know. Sunday shakes. All right. Oh, I got it. Hey, it's Sunday. Sunday shakes, everything good feels fake. Now I'm lying in the mess I made, the mess I made. Walking, walking, days, and we're walking, walking right into. 
anything just isn't that cool acoustic. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, thank you. You guys you guys have been awesome. 
This is like the most fun I've had since, even before, before COVID. Since Moby Dick was a minnow. Since Moby Dick was a minnow? How Robbie still with me. Oh, really? other songs, but we definitely saved the good stuff for the end.
Oh, I know this way. 